if you have an eBay shop, use your seven day auctions. Hello and welcome back to the channel where we are trying to sell some stuff on eBay. If you're new here, I'm Polish Pete and I'm an eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay for profit. Today I would like to talk about free 7 day auctions allocation that you get with your shop subscription. But before we start, if you are interested in this kind of video, in this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's go! When you have a shop subscription, an eBay shop subscription, you get free listing allocation, meaning you can list items without paying an insertion fee. Obviously, nothing is free in this world. You will have to pay for that in your subscription fee. Because, let's face it, guys, there is not much benefits of having shop on eBay besides that free listing allocation. If you have if you have a featured shop subscription like me, which is the middle one, you will pay about £83 a month, including VAT. With that fee, you will get 1500 free buy it now listings and 300 seven day auctions. For years, guys, for years, I was only using buy it nows and I never ever considered those auctions. What a mistake! What an error! Honestly, for all those years I haven't used my auctions. And they were free, you know. I didn't have to pay for them. So why, was I, why wasn't I using them? Stupid! So why should you use them? Yeah, there are several reasons for that well at least five and i'm going i'm going to tell you those five reasons now first of all they are free yeah well free they are in your subscription you already paid for them so why not to use them yeah if you pay for something and you are not using it you're just throwing the money out of the window really so why not to use them number two that is extra exposure yeah an exposure that you don't have to pay for these auctions auctions give you opportunity to list something more to reach some more customers yeah without paying insertion fees 300 seven days auctions it's basically like having about 75 items listed live on ebay for a month yeah because you can have it seven for seven days, for seven days, for seven days, and for seven days, and it's a month, yeah? Uh, number three, the price. Right, I don't, I, I sell cheap ladies clothing. I don't put a lot of time and effort to, to research my prices. I basically know what they are selling for. And for me, it's not viable, it's a waste of time. To research every single item just, just to get a pound more yeah if I put it too high and it doesn't sell for three months I just lower the price and it meets the customer and it's gone so but obviously sometimes it happens that you put your item for a tenner and it's worth 12 yeah so it sells quickly just like that and you think oh I should really put it for a bit more with auctions you have that opportunity to put your item for the price that you think it's going to sell for and when it's just too low there will be some two three people bidding and it's gonna put they going to put put it up to two quid three quid you know higher than your selling price was uh, at least in theory yeah and number four guys auctions push the customer to pull the trigger yeah 
it's an auction so they don't know if it's the item is going to be released or not after the auction is ended so they they just they just want to buy it yeah because if it's a buy it now it's a buy it now it's gonna be there forever yeah that's what they think it's not really true but that's what they think and when it's on auction people are just more motivated to buy it if that makes sense yeah obviously there are people who just don't want to wait for auction to finish and they prefer uh, buy it now because they click they pay and it's shipped to them and a couple of days later they have it and with the, with an auction yeah you have to put your bid wait seven days or whatever and then auction ends then you pay then it's shipped to you and then you've got it so yes there are people who don't want to wait but also there are people who like to buy on auction because that gives them that bargain feeling yeah uh, number five and the last one uh, what have you got to lose nothing it only takes couple of seconds for your item if if you don't if you want sell it via auction it only takes you couple of seconds to click sell, sell similar turn auction into the buy it now and release it again so this is this is what i do if it doesn't sell via auction i release it for buy it now put it there and 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 it, as simple as that really and it it won't cost you anything it, it, it only takes a couple of seconds and, and 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 it's done either you will sell it via auction or not there's nothing to lose if you won't sell it via auction it's not that you won't sell it ever yeah if it doesn't sell via auction put it on buy it now and it's gonna sell in a one year time three year time whatever yeah so if you compare guys how many auctions i run and how many uh, buy it now listings i run and if you compare it with how many items i sell via auction and how many items i sell via buy it now those auctions perform way much better granted these are new new items newly listed items i have never listed them before i list them first on auction and then whatever doesn't sell goes to the buy it now but still if you compare 300 auctions with 1500 buy it nows those auctions sell more yeah they they are they are to put it into perspective I sell about 10% of the items that I will list on auction yeah so out of those 300 auctions a month I've got about 30 sales now out of 15 out of 1500 buy it nows maybe I will sell that 10% maybe maybe not it depends on the month yeah but those auctions perform quite consistently and quite good uh, the best thing guys for you is just to try it especially if you have your store filled to the brim like I do I've got 15 1500 listings all the time I use my allocation every single month yeah I've got I even got listings that are waiting there for something to be sold so I can replace it yeah so those 300 auctions is something extra on top of that yeah just try it and if it doesn't work out for you just just don't use them anymore a uh, few more things before i go dresses sell very very well on auction at least for me dresses sell way much better for me on auctions than on buy it now listings way much better i even took my old listings my old dresses that are there for two two years and i put it on auction and they they, they have sold i did it probably around six months ago and they have sold well not all of them at least some of them but i couldn't sell them for uh, uh, as a buy it now for two three years so 
yeah and we on options they sold number two don't forget about offers allow offers I sell quite a few items via auctions where, where customer sends me an offer and I accept it. You can't send offers to watchers though on auctions. You can't do it. And number three, Saturday works the best for me. I've tried all the days of the week and Saturdays work the best. So I list my auctions on Saturdays between 7 and 8 p.m. so they finish next Saturday between 7 and 8 p.m. and really a lot of people beat in that last hour yeah okay guys that's it for today short video today for you thank you very much for watching and for the privilege of being listened to yeah I wish you all the best guys have a great week I'm gonna see you next time God bless you all and bye-bye.